Hey you, welcome to chapter 12 of my Dead Space 2 No Damage Playthrough and Zealot Difficulty. I am Stud Doogie. This chapter is going to be a really tiny one relative to the rest of them uh, for two reasons. One, the chapter itself is just short. There are really only two zones that we get to explore. And uh, in one of those zones, we're on a track. We're basically just stuck in a machine going down a hallway or through a tunnel. Uh, and the second reason it's short is that I didn't, I could have appended it to a different chapter or the following chapter, but I chose not to do that because it's so tonally different. Uh, there's a huge tonal difference between this chapter and the rest of the game. This chapter, there's some levity to it. There's a second joke uh, in the game, which is my favorite joke in the game. Um, the interesting thing is this, no, this game is, there is not a lot of humor in it. It is a pretty tight pretty well scripted survival horror game so there isn't a ton of levity so this this chapter comes as a breath of fresh air insofar as levity is concerned and they do a really good job with it with the with the joke that's coming up so uh this conversation that isaac is having with ellie i i think part of it is to reassure us that where we will be able to a find the marker and b destroy it because as Isaac just said he's no longer running and uh, being able to deal with the marker requires step four which is acceptance and Isaac in the previous chapter sort of accepted um, his his role with Ellie or the kind of thing that's been going on in his head with Ellie not Ellie I'm sorry Nicole uh, which is represented by his psychosis or the alien um, presence in his mind manifests itself or presents itself as Nicole. And I don't actually think that that's the alien presence that's manifesting itself as Nicole. I think he, there is an alien presence in his head because clearly he can see shit uh, relating to the marker that's not there, but he understands it to be there. But the fact that it looks like Nicole, that's, I think that's all Isaac, but that's just my opinion. Because Strauss sees something different. He sees his son, or he saw his son. He saw his wife. Um, so maybe it's the thing you fear the most that uh, it gets represented in your mind as that person. Hey, what did you do? Okay, here comes one joke that cracks me up. You know, I, Ellie's a real firecracker. Listen. Yeah, because that was a stupid question, I think. Like, she hasn't done anything, she can't do anything, so why are you asking her if she has any luck? And she's like, uh, no, Isaac. It's like, so stupid, Isaac. I love Ellie. I do. I think she's a great character. A lot of good energy from her. She's been through hell, and yet she still has uh, that sense of humor. We're going to talk about more... We're going to kind of close out the Ellie conversation in the next chapter. So, not a lot to do here. Um, I'm going to get this circuit board thingy, and here comes the joke. Now, remember, the first joke was in Chapter 10 aboard the Shamor. That, that was the Med Bay joke. And the joke is just great example of Ellie's amazing uh, personality. I'm betting my hopes on Ellie in case you guys have, in case you haven't realized that, because Isaac needs to be saved. So I'm going in here to uh, get some ammo because once we put that battery, once we activate the nav card thing, uh, the door is going to be inaccessible to us. So we're going to get rid of some stuff, get some ammo, and prepare ourselves for the next chapter. We're also going to buy a new gun. This is the boss killing gun that we're going to buy. The boss killer. Um, I got the DLC variant 
and I'm using the DLC variant. I'm not one of those people that don't like to use their loot because it's whatever. I, I, I'm not going to say anything about other people and their choices. Um, I got to DLC, so I'm using it. That's what I'm going to say about that. It's so weird to have so much money after so much time being broke in this game. I kind of wish there was some sort of scaling available that, you know, as you become more powerful, the enemies, um, they scale up with you. Which is one of the reasons I really like the, the kind of um, level 3 boss, right? The boss before the boss. You guys know what I'm talking about. We'll, we'll, we'll get into that in more detail in the next chapter but one of the reasons I like that boss yeah I'm not gonna talk about it now we'll we'll talk about that later um, in this one we're just gonna you know spend our nose get everything upgraded just prepare ourselves it's a little bit premature because I, I didn't need it but again I didn't have all the answers at the time I was making uh, the no damage playthrough it's like I, I really got better at it as I did the new game plus plus runs I didn't record those that was just for fun but um, it doesn't cost us anything. We have all the nodes and all the loot in the world. It's just the time. So I'll keep you guys, I'll keep you entertained with the song. Shooby dooby doo. Shooby dooby. Okay, get, let's, let's get going. <laughs> uh, yes, I'm a dork. Just, I, I embrace it. I'm goofy. All right, here it comes. Here's the joke. Listen. It's really good, listen. It doesn't recognize a new junction. I think I've got it from up here. Just <laughs> what? I didn't hear you. Uh, nothing. Nothing. I love that shit. And then here comes this part. Here's part B of the joke. <laughs> I did it. I got it started. And then she interrupts him so he can't correct her. You know what I mean? Like, Ellie's boss, yo. Ellie is straight up boss. I love it. It's such a it's such a breath of fresh air, you know. With all this. And then here comes, we're back to the murder. We're back to the violence. We're killing kids. Don't get me wrong. I have no objections to murdering those bastards. And, and I do mean bastards, you know, fatherless children. Just toss their body around, get some loot. And then we're going to do some serious fighting. But it's not that serious, to be honest. It seems serious the first couple times you're doing it. But you do it enough and you realize it's not that bad. And there's a cheese. If you stand in the right spot, you can't get hit by the things that can actually hit you because you get some projectiles uh, that come at us and um, you know you just really can't get hit by them if you're standing in the right spot so here's a little note for you if you're going to do your own don't no damage run uh, enemy spawns are preceded by an audio cue from Ellie so once you said these bastards are everywhere and then soon after that enemies started spawning now we're not facing enemies before the next set start to spawn we'll get on them on the uh, here it is now it's not this one there's gonna be a second audio cue but but that's your hint whenever she says something there it is this is it so they're gonna be spawning on the left and this is what I mean I'm gonna get shot at and not get hit because I'm standing in the sweet spot so this is not luck, this is intentional. I think, no, it wasn't him that got a shot off. Somebody gets a shot off on me. And I am not even worried about it. It may be on the other side. Yeah, I think it's on the other side. Nope, there he goes. We had both times. So if you're standing in the right spot, you're good.
You know how many times I failed trying to dodge, um, trying to dodge those attacks, and then I would get hit. And I, who would have thought just standing still would be the difference? But you live, you learn. I hate missing that shot because he he raised his arm to spit, and I shot just before he raised his arm, so it went underneath his armpit. Because that was because I was trying to hit him in the joint. See? Always the spawns after the audio cue. Once again, I'm standing in the safe zone. You fuckers can't hurt me. And this you know this is basically the entire chapter us riding on top of this drill shooting at things and um, chit-chatting with Ellie I love the fact that I can just stand there and they can't hit me now, if you're not standing in the right spot, you will get hit. It's not just any spot. You have to find the sweet spot. Bye-bye. Now, here comes the last joke coming up here soon. Because we're pretty much done with the fighting at this point. Here it is. No, that's not it. It's been. It, it's coming up soon. Okay, I'll, I'll sing you a song while we wait. You ready? I'm not gonna sing you no damn song. <laughs> it's almost over. It's coming. Here it is. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop, stop. Looks like we reached the foundation. Ellie's a boss. Check it out. So how do we get in there? Straight ahead. <laughs> Ellie's freaking boss. She's like, we do have a giant joke. You damn right we do. You tell him, Ellie. All right, y'all. We're coming up, kind of coming up on the end here. That's what he's complaining about. All the times he's been tossed around and knocked over and thrown into space and all this stuff that's what hurt and i'm guessing that marker of yours is behind that huge door over there well, all right y'all so it'll be over here in a couple of seconds um i'd like to thank you for watching and uh i will catch you in the next one right, later